Look at that delicious poblano burger. Oh yeah. Well, hello. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to be making some hamburgers. This one's called a poblano burger. Now this is something that's just wonderful tasting and if you've never had a poblano burger, I certainly recommend that you go to your store and try to find some poblanos. These are a chili that have a wonderful flavor. It's a rich flavor. They're not very hot. They're actually a fairly mild chili. And uh, the flavor you get from it though is great. It also has a very thick, meaty uh, interior on it like a bell pepper does. And so you get a lot for your money in this pepper. Anyway, we're gonna take a look at everything that I have here and see all these wonderful ingredients and get busy cooking. This meal does not take long to prepare. Before we do that, I would like to mention, please look in the description box right underneath this. That has the links to my website where you're gonna get my recipes, shirts, caps, and other merchandise are all there for Texas cooking today. So if you would, please take a look at that. And uh, the recipes are a really good value. Once you see how they're written, you're gonna be surprised. Um, I've got some great ingredients here, wonderful stuff. And I'm looking forward to sharing this with you. So come over a little closer. We're gonna get started making a fantastic tasting hamburger. Come on. So the ingredients I have here are some frozen meat patties, folks. Yeah, that's right. These are some Angus, beef Angus patties. You know, those prefab patties you buy in a stack. I'm trying these out because I wanted to see if they were any good or not. And they're not too bad, okay? I'll go with it. You can cook these from frozen. It works, believe it or not. I've done it for years. I don't make a habit of it. From time to time though, I'll do this. Poblanos, a great chili. You can substitute a bell pepper for this or an Anaheim, but frankly, if you can get this, it's the one to go for. And other things I have here, I've got some wonderful onion rolls, lettuce, cheese, red onion. I'm gonna make myself a chipotle aioli with this mayo and chipotle sauce. And I have some seasoned pepper and salt for my patties. So this promises to be an absolutely delicious hamburger, and fairly easy to make. So I've got the grill heating up. Let's get out there, put the poblano on it and scorch that skin off real quick. All right, we're gonna char our poblano. It's as easy as put it on a hot grill. I'm gonna close the lid and that is going to blister, all right? And I wanna turn that to high because I want a lot of heat underneath it. Um, it does not take long to do this. You're simply looking to blister the outside of it, char it a little bit, and then we can remove that skin from it, okay? We'll take a look at that in about one minute. All right, let's take a look and see what we've got. Looky there, we've got blistering and some charring, just what we're looking for. I'll say this, I think the grill does the best job of this of anything that I have. All right, let's get these patties seasoned up. I wanna season these the way I do any burger patty. It's just simple, uh, kosher salt. And I like using this kosher salt because the flakes are big. You can see where they land. You can see how much is going on there. Using a table salt is really difficult to get a good measure on how much is hitting the, uh, the meat, okay? Now, you know, where something like this, you sprinkle over it and you can, quite easily see everything that hits it. Okay. I love doing a seasoned pepper and salt, just keeping it simple. It's a great flavor when it comes to these things. All right, I have brought my poblano in from the grill and this thing is still a little warm, all right? So handle with care. You might wanna put on gloves when you do this, but you see what I'm doing here? I'm simply grabbing that skin and pulling it off, all right? Don't make this a jar, all right? Now, if the skin fights you, if it's not really peeling off very easy, put this inside of a plastic bag for about five to 10 minutes. What'll happen is that will loosen up what remains of that skin and it'll peel right off, okay? So don't worry about that. And then what that is, is just the heat working on it. Now this also did what we call par cooking, okay? Uh, and that's partially cooking the item. Um, I can leave it just like this and put it directly on my burger. If I want, I can also 
go ahead and give it a second grilling. Now, if I did that, I would want to cover it with a little oil before putting it on the grill. And folks, let me tell you, that extra grilling can really add a lot to one of these. Okay, let me get the rest of this off of here. You can see that didn't take very long, huh? Well, the next little traumatic thing that we have to do is to get the crown off of the top of this. So, when I'm going to remove a crown from a chili that I've just scorched, I don't use a knife or anything. I simply use my finger. I push it into the side of the silly, uh, the chili. Yeah, I know it seems silly, doesn't it? I put it, push my finger into the side of the chili and then just pull down just like that and it'll cut it right open. Now from there, I can simply tear the chili away from that crown. Like I say right now, it is still piping, ouch, piping hot. So I'm gonna let this cool just a little bit and once it's done cooling, I'll remove that crown the rest of the way. Now, let's finish taking that crown off. There we go. Just like that. The seeds, easy, easy. They just come right out, folks. See there? Sometimes they might stick on these veins right here. You can gently pull up towards the stem, and it will pull those right off. If you pull down, it'll rip the poblano meat. So don't do that. Okay. Now I have... A poblano that's fully prepped and if I want to go ahead and oil this lightly and put it back out there well then by golly I get that choice don't I now I'm going to go ahead and prepare my poblano with a little olive oil now I can pour some olive oil on there and just kind of rub it around with my finger if I want I have one of these misters that I keep filled with olive oil hey how convenient right <laughs> There we go. So, anytime I want to olive oil something, it's a real easy way to do it, right? Y'all might want to consider one of these little things. They are really very handy items. Now I want to make a nice dressing to go on my burger, okay? And this is the, you know, the neat thing about doing home burgers, you get to come up with your own special recipes. And stuff like this is what really kind of sends it right over the top, okay? And I'm putting in a couple of tablespoons of a chipotle pepper sauce there to about, oh, I would say a quarter of a cup or just slightly more of mayonnaise. This is easy enough, just mix the two. There, they'll combine, you just be patient. So what we've got is a really cool dressing now. I've got this, this mayo with a chipotle kick to it. We call this an aioli, okay? And it is a really cool way to dress up a lot of dishes. This works for like a salmon. It's a nice salmon sauce. It works great on hamburgers. It's just good stuff. Now I'm going to cut my bun, and I'll say this. Anytime you cut sideways with a knife, uh, don't ever cut towards you like this, okay? Always do it away from you. And another thing, if you can stand the bun up, if it'll hold itself up and do it this way, that could be easier for you. I don't know. If you're going to do this, don't hold it like that. Get those fingers on top, all right? Now, here's something you can do. You can work that thing in a circle. See what I'm doing? Bring my knife around. Cut. Work it around, keeping those fingers way up there, aren't I? Isn't that cool? Now, it's not a perfect cut job, but it gives you good, even level around the outside edge. It was a bit high in the middle, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, I can decorate this with some of my sauce and get this ready, oh yeah, for my burgers. I think if you uh, try this, Neat little recipe right here. You're gonna be surprised, I bet you like it. Let's get our burgers on the grill. These are still, remember, semi-frozen, and that's not gonna hurt a thing, but it does adjust your cooking time. So you wanna compensate when you do that, folks. Add an extra minute per side when you have a patty like this that's frozen versus this same patty thawed. 
Now, I have turned my heat down to a medium, and I'm gonna give those about five minutes per side. Uh, normally, I would do these about four minutes per side to get a good thorough cook on them, and about three minutes if I wanted a nice pink middle. And it's uh, kind of also in knowing your grill. I'll heat mine up on high, but right now I've reduced the temperature to medium that I do my cooking closed cover, and that affects it as well. All right, getting that poblano off of there. It's beautifully cooked, wonderful char. Now, if you notice these, don't touch them. Leave them alone, don't flip them, don't mess with them, turn them one time. When my timer goes off, and that's gonna be in just a few seconds, I'm gonna flip them over. This is ready. Now, the cheese I have out so that when I'm in the last minute of cook, I'll put the cheese on the patties that I'm gonna be using for my double and then we're off and running. There's that little timer. Love using a timer to cook with, folks. It just really makes life so much easier. There they are. Those are looking the way a good burger should look. Set that timer again. We're off and running. I am in the last moments of my cook here. I've got some beautiful sizzling burgers. Oh, those look good. My cheese is sticking just a little bit, but I think we can save it. A little cheese on there and one without. A few more seconds, that's done, and then we're making burger. All right, looks like I have beautiful burger coming my way. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, now I've got pretty much everything I need for beautiful burger. Cut this here, all right. There's my poblano. Now let's get busy constructing this little joy, okay? So we have that beautiful poblano that we made. Look at that. I'll take it and put them right up on there. My patties. Oh yes. Let's see, I think I want it just like this. And it is all about that kind of that presentation thing, right? Making it look just a certain way. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then we need some onion up on here. Must admit, I love the red onion. A bit of lettuce. Mm -hmm. And it looks to me, ladies and gentlemen, like we've got a heck of a hamburger going on right here. Well, folks, we have hamburger. Gorgeous, delicious hamburger. I'm looking forward to digging in on that one. Well, that was fun. You know, I love doing a grilled meal. It is easy, it's fun. There's so much good flavor going on. And then you get to enjoy that little darling. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. I didn't say it wouldn't be a little messy. All right, delicious though. Oh man. The poblano. What the poblano does for a burger, it's incredible. It's hard to describe it. It's something that really needs to be experienced. Give that a shot. You're gonna enjoy these burgers. And please, take a look, description box, Go to my website, satrotter.com. That's the link right down in there. It's easy to find. Also, check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and my other social media. Folks, thank you for looking and watching what I had to offer you today. And please enjoy my other great recipes. Thank you for watching. You folks have a good day. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Mm.